Hey, here are 10 CapCut tips that will make your life easier and you can all use them for free. You can auto-generate these closed captions in this video and that means you can save your time by not typing them out. Just go to text, auto captions and generate the captions in the language you want. There are different formats that you can use for your captions, like putting an extra effect on your caption to engage your viewer, select your caption, click on the text, and here you can change the format of your caption. If you're adding images to your video, try and use an effect like this. Import your image, select the image, click on animation, and choose the type of animation you want to add. After adding an animation, you can also add a sound effect. CapCut contains a sound library filled with free to use sound effects. Select audio, sound effect and add for example a bush. If this video brought you any value, press like and subscribe if you want to see more tips like this. It's easy to increase or decrease the audio of your video. You can just select a clip, click on the audio and change the volume of a clip. Next to sound effects, CapCut also contains a library full of stickers. You can click on stickers and search for the specific type of stickers you want to use. I may you use the emphasis stickers to highlight something with an arrow for example. You can transform the sizes of images and videos. Click on the image or video. Select transform. From here you can play around and change the size of the media while the video is playing. You can also use different transitions from the free library of CapCut and here you can change from scene to scene with a transition and that will help you keep your viewers engaged. Select the frame you want to add a transition on, click on transitions and choose the transition you want to add. Next to that, you can also cut out the background of your videos. And that's sometimes relevant for your shorts to highlight something. Select the frame you want, select remove BG background and click on the auto removal. It will automatically cut out the background of your frame. You can add another frame on top of this frame to have a different background. Last but not least, play around and find out. It does not matter if you use CapCut or any other tool, just play around and find out and make it your own. If you want to have more creative tips, then watch this next video. Tie and bye and see you in the next one.